hello guys welcome back to Kessie's cuisine where we satisfy your food cravings with easy and amazing recipes if you're new to my channel what's up you're very much welcome and if you're old in this channel thank you so much for coming back to my channel now if you can see from this video already we are going to be making some Caribbean coconut corn with some coated coconut shrimps by the side and mm, this recipe was just amazing in fact i wanted to start speaking some you know but i was just like okay let me just calm down so first thing that you want to do or first thing that you want to do is that you want to clean out your maize there is no summer like summer cannot pass without me eating maize it is part of the tradition for me so I cleaned out my maize. The maize was looking so amazing, so fresh, so nice. I got free. So when I was done cleaning out my maize and everything, I decided, um, yeah, of course, I put it on fire or like I added in some water to my pot and I made it come to a boil, not really to a boil. And then <clears throat> to that boiling water, you want to add in your maize okay so when i added in my maize this was time for you for me to show you the magic of this recipe <laughs> you are not going to believe it guys so i added in my salt so hmm, after adding my salt i added in some spring onions and then i added in some garlic hmm. after adding garlic i added in some white pepper then i added red pepper then i added um some scotch bonnets and this is the icing on the cake i added in some coconut milk hmm. you will not believe how this recipe came out like it was it was it was too good to be true this recipe was a dream like forget it i added my coconut milk and then i added in my butter if you taste this corn eh <laughs> If you taste this corn anyways so i covered my portal for everything for my corn to boil for like 20 to 30 minutes thereabouts it was time for me to prepare my shrimps and then to prepare the shrimps now you want to use that coconut flavor you want that coconut flavor that caribbean vibe so i used coconut shaft i used some maggi I added in some garlic and some white pepper and when I finished I wanted my shrimps to look expensive or to look like I don't even know Seth. Anyway Sha, I wanted my shrimps to be looking different so I used like um, a stick. Is, it, is this a stick? No. I used um, fuck I forgot the name. Anyway you want to put your shrimps on this thing for it to look a little bit fancy. So when I was done, this was what my shrimp was looking like. I added in some egg. This egg just to allow the coconut coat very well on the shrimps. So you want to rub your egg on your shrimps generously. And when I was done with that, I put, placed my shrimps on my coconut plate. I dust that a little and then I decided to use breadcrumbs to um, coat it again now <clears throat> for this part i think the smart thing to do the smart thing to do <laughs> in case you want to do your so you don't waste time coating and cutting is that you add your breadcrumbs to your coconuts you get so you like with one coat you have coated everything so you don't have to go back and forth back and forth so i think that's that's the smart thing to do but at the moment i was not thinking about it so i wasted some time and I coated it again with egg and then I went back to coat with some breadcrumbs that's why I said if you are doing yours just these breadcrumbs just add a little bit of it then add in your coconut and your spice everything together you get so I coated again and when I was done my shrimps was looking like this and I decided to fry it in some very hot oil and I flipped it over, allowed it to fry, flipped it over until it was golden brown 
on both sides and when i was done my corn was also ready the environment was in fact the environment was was in trouble because the corn was the aroma was just everything now this was what my corn was looking like i garnished it with some cheese you can leave that out if you want but i garnished mine with some cheese and then i used some red pepper and then some sweet corn on uh, red pepper and then some spring onions again on it and this was what it was looking like mama sita so guys thank you so much for watching make sure you do subscribe to my channel tell me if you will try this recipe because it is mind-blowing see you in my next video bye